Hello and welcome to this video and in this video I am going to explain container image scanning. What is this concept? Why is it important for us being a DevOps engineer or a software developer to understand this particular concept? Overview of container image scanning. Containerization has become a popular way of developing and running applications and we are aware of it. Containers are usually lightweight, portable and can host an entire application with all its dependencies. However, with the growing popularity and adoption of containerization, we are facing new kinds of challenges in containerization, especially the security part of it. This is where container image scanning comes into play. Container image scanning is the process of inspecting the contents of a container image for security vulnerabilities. Containerization issues and compliance violation are very common when you are using open source packages as a part of your container. It is essential to set up an end-to-end -end security scanning and reliability of our container and this particular process is nothing but known as container image scanning. Before I move ahead, I want to let you know that I have two courses that solely focuses on interview preparation. One is on AWS and one is on a wide variety of DevOps technologies. Please check out these courses in Udemy and a special link is given in the description of this video where you can get some discount. Now let us jump back to the container image scanning. How does the container image scanning work? Basically, there are four steps. First is image analysis. The scanning tool extracts the content of the container image and analyzes them for known vulnerabilities and configuration issues, which might happen. The second one is configuration scanning. The scanning tool checks the image configuration against a set of best practices and compliance standard set. So if there is any kind of violation, then it is going to let us know that there is a misconfiguration in this particular container. And the third one is a vulnerability scanning. The scanning tool check for image against a known database for all available vulnerabilities and identifies any kind of vulnerabilities existing in your image. And finally, a reporting. The tool is responsible for generating and summarizing all the findings that it has done and give us this information as a format of a report. One best example for this kind of issue is the log4j incident that happened. Because of this issue, a lot of containers were vulnerable and that is why this particular image scanning helps us. You might be wondering, okay, we spoke about container image scanning, but what tools are out there that can help us do this? We have a lot of open source tools available like Gripe, Swift and Clare which can help us to do all of this very easily. Out of this, Gripe is very famous and it is the best tool used out there in the open source market to do any kind of container image scanning. Finally, what are the benefits that we seek from container image scanning? The main benefits is improved security, right? Once you have set up this container image scanning, that is the container before it gets stored in the artifact registry of your company, you are trying to make sure that it is completely secure. So we have improved security here and a reduced risk because of improved security and enforcement of best practice. Now that you are aware of this setup, people will be more careful when they are trying to set up these packages and try to do some background check before just adding these packages as a part of the Docker container. Increased visibility of any kind of vulnerabilities. With hundreds of images getting generated every day in your organization, this kind of visibility helps us to make sure we are secure. In conclusion, container image scanning is an essential step that a DevOps engineer must implement in their organization. This is going to benefit both the organization and the project in a long run. If this particular question does come in an interview, that is if somebody asks you, what is container image scanning? Now you have the complete information. Break this information into what is container image scanning, the benefits of it, and some tools that you have used. If you have not used any of the tools that I just mentioned, give it a try and I'm sure you're going to understand this. I hope this video was helpful. If it is, then please do subscribe this YouTube channel for more content around it. Thank you.